when she went to college, a lot of people had seen um, our work and they really wanted to work with me. So I would say that's about 10 years um, from that moment to where I am now, where I've worked with loads and loads of people. And a lot of the time I would say I don't even look for photographers. Photographers usually come to me or projects end up coming towards me. Now I do modeling from fashion all the way to implied topless. Um, but because I do such a big range, I always get very, very concerned for other freelance models who want to follow my footsteps because you have to be very, very strong willed. Um, also know your boundaries, know what you want from a photo shoot um, and just have that strength to say no or anything along those lines. But that's something I'll talk about in a little bit. So the positive things about modeling, of course, is you get to meet new people, um, the amount of clothes and makeup and hair. So if you're someone like me that loves to be creative, loves to um, go into a job and come out completely different um, and then months later, weeks later, see the work from that job and again, get a completely different vision, then modeling is definitely for you. It's something where I love that you get to be so creative, so artistic, like, there's different stories, different emotions, auras that come with images um, that I think a lot of people don't always get, but that's why it's so important to have your, the thing that you like to do, the, the theme that you like to do, because the more passionate you are about that theme, the more hard work you'll put into it and the more um, creativity, happiness you'll get back from it. So yes, meeting new people and being creative, very big bonus. Um, also pay. Being a model is great. Um, if you're a freelance model like myself, um, not only do I have to pay for my hair, for doing my hair, my makeup, my travel, my modeling, my styling, um, and all those prices add up. So you are able to do your hourly rate at a different cost, depending on how many, how much skills you have to bring to the photo shoot or to the project. I've had a lot of times where I've actually not worked on a project, but I've known someone else who I think would fit better. Um, and so I've recommended a different model and I've still been paid for at the recommendation um, because within this industry, I guess I'd like to say, we all work together and it's very much community based. If you're working with people and you don't feel like it's very community based or family friendly to say as such, then you're probably in the wrong place. Now, to go to the negative parts of modelling, because everything has something more, like negative, I can't stand here and be like, oh, this is great, like, every day is amazing, every photo shoot is amazing. There are times that, for example, I wake up and mentally, I am not prepared to be standing in front of a camera and, like, have my pictures taken, because I just don't feel, I don't feel confident in myself. However, after I've had the photo shoot, being around these amazing people, you know, being artistic and really fulfilling what my soul naturally loves to do, I end up feeling a lot more confident um, about myself, about my abilities, about my skills, and the rest of my day is usually, usually so much better. However, there are going to be times when I go to these photo shoots and I still go do the work and I still feel enclosed and I don't feel great. Um, so there's that kind of thing of you don't have to be confident but also you have to have the strength to be like, okay, I know there's going to be days like this, but I can still go on and move forward. Another negative thing about um, being a model is that at times you can get into situations where, luckily I've never gone through this, but I know some people that have gone and travelled to go on photo shoots with people. And unfortunately, the photographers have um, not respected their boundaries and kind of manipulated and gaslighted them into thinking that they want to do a certain type of photo shoot whether that's implied nude or lingerie when actually the person just wants to do fashion and if that is the case remember that you're always in control of your photo shoots of your projects no photographer or makeup artist or stylist or anything should ever make you feel uncomfortable um it should always be a, a collective group effort unless it's like a a, a a photo shoot that has been completely planned and you're just there as the model and you're just there as the model. But if it's a project or something where you're working all together with freelance photographers, freelance everything, then it definitely should be something where you work together as a group and not uh, have someone just manipulate you into doing stuff or being in a situation that you don't want to be in. Um, also remembering that what you wear and how you represent your body and yourself is still your control like you still have control of that um, a lot of people I think think because they're going to get paid to do something that they have to do what the person thinks 
That isn't true. I've had times where I've gone into photo shoots and people want to use my natural hair, which I'm absolutely fine with. But the problem is when people touch my hair and do things with my hair that really damage it. Now, as a black woman with 4C hair, like, I don't have the mental strength for you to damage my hair. My hair doesn't even have the strength to be damaged. It's already damaged trying to repair itself. Um, so I feel like it's very important to have that thing of like, okay, I don't want someone to touch my hair or I don't feel comfortable with this person touching my hair. So I'm telling them I don't want that done. Luckily, I work with a lot of people that already know how I work and um, just that I have my boundaries. So they will ask me beforehand and they'll give me like lists of things to do. Um, like lists of like images of things what they can give me um, and styles which is great um, because then I can see okay this is what you're thinking of doing to my hair or making me wear my body whatever as I am larger up the top a lot of the times when I go to put clothes on I don't always feel comfortable but by communicating with the stylist we're able to we're able to make something that works for everyone and it still fits the theme but also helps me feel comfortable and just not so on edge there's also the fact that when you meet new people and you're working with like stylists makeup artists photographers if you don't if you let them I was gonna say abuse but that's not even the word if you let them take advantage of you or do things that don't necessarily fit within your boundaries all you're doing is letting them do that to the next person and the next person and the next person um, so it's really important to leave reviews and if you don't get on with someone or anything like that, make sure to leave reviews and be honest to why you don't want to work with them or why you had troubles working with them, which then makes it so much easier for everyone else involved so that people don't feel like, oh, this person's worked for them, I've saw their pictures and then they go and have a photo shoot with them and then they realise, oh, I've had the worst photo shoot and essentially you kind of not get blamed, but like you haven't protected or helped the person afterwards. So I feel like I've said loads of like bad things about modelling. I've said a few good things as well. But I feel like it, uh, I've put a nice little mixture of things to make people think... Um...